What's up YouTube? For tonight, I have a full League of Legends team. Okay, this one's for Patreon. If you are interested in that, check it out in the description. So, leave them theme team suggestions in the comment section below. Go do it. Uh, if you enjoyed these uh, series, make sure you drop a like on the video. Now, um, quickly as usual, make sure you check out the freaking playlist at the end uh, so we don't have the same uh, team suggested all the time. Okay, this one was a fun one. It was a quick battle, but you know, what's wrong with a quickie every now and then? So we have a Dom fan as the lead here. I've got my Articuno uh, leading off because I did see it in the team preview. Uh, that's why I chose to lead with Articuno. Um, I went for the Ice Beam here, just in case they decided to you know, set up Stealth Rock as a suicide lead. And um, this piece of crap comes in. So I'm obviously going to do nothing to this. I was hoping, well, let's get a Freeze Hacks, but it's got, probably got Natural Cure anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But... Um, yeah, my, it's the same old story. My life, life orb nearly does as much damage as I did to the Chansey. So I'm going to swap in Tibbers here, which I accidentally called. I was, I was going to do it as Volley Bear, but I don't know why I called it Tibbers for, but I did. Um, it's a pretty good impression of Tibbers anyway. Uh, I apologize for that one. So um, I swap in expecting the Toxic, obviously, there, and I get a Guts, uh, which is, you know, nice. Um, I'm also running Choice Ben on this set. So I've got Guts and choice ban and I'm adamant nature and I'm going to be hitting so huge um chestnut's going to come in here I'm going for frustration here because I always fuck up the return happiness and stuff and uh man that did heaps and um, that was definitely a defensive chestnut as well half expecting a spiky shield here or a hammer arm um since I'm running max health max attack I'm not going to be the quickest Pokemon out there uh, then again, Chestnut isn't, but I didn't want to take that risk uh, at this point in the game anyway, and I was half, I was half expecting the spiky, spiky Shield. Okay, uh, so Spiky Shield fails, obviously. Now, I've got Cross Poison on my Aridos here. Now, this was an amazing Pokemon, this battle. Um, so, they're going to swap out here. Um, in comes the Charizard here, which I definitely was a Charizard uh, Y. I Cross Poison on the swap, and I get the fucking Sniper crit. I was like, see you later, bitches! And that was Charizard down, so that was awesome. Um, I was so glad getting out of the way, because that counted my team freaking hard. Okay, Donphan's going to come in here. Didn't have much to do against this thing. I thought, well, let's go for Cross Poison again, at least to, you know, break the sturdy uh, there. That was a crit too. That was nice. Um, I can see that it's got a rocky helmet on it, and it's going to go for the fire fang here, which is oh, it's pretty funny. Its a attack animation is hilarious, and I just hung on there um, with 25 health. Now I'm like, well, let's go for the mega horn. Let's get as much damage as I can uh, get on this Don fan. So nice damage there, and just hang on the uh, one health of the rocky helmet. But uh, yeah, I, I was I was pretty happy with that result. I could have gone for the mega horn at the start, but I thought at that point in time, let's you break the sturdy insane. at least. And that, you know, that, that'd be my option because of the accuracy. It didn't matter really how much damage I did to it. Anyway, so swapping back into uh, my Articuno here. Now I was thinking, Chansey may come in again. Uh, there's a highly good chance of that, but uh, I, like I need, to, I need to get rid of this Chansey. It's being a, it's, it's being a royal pain in the ass. Um, their team is heavily relying on this Chansey at the moment. Their Chestnut being their defensive wall, I'd say, it, you know, it's it's not in a good position. I can easily revenge kill that with uh, Articuno, so I'm saving Articuno for that. Okay, so into Tippers again, expecting a Toxic again on my side of the field, which I got. So I'm already poisoned, which is nice. Now, here I'm thinking... <clears throat> I could go for a Frustration again or a Close Combat. I decided to go the Frustration here and, uh, yep, goodbye Chansey, it was nice knowing you. Crit there, okay. um, I think that would have done, it nearly would have taken it out anyway because I did have Guts and Adam and Nature and a Choice Ban attached there, so that's going to do a lot. Uh, it may have lived with a tiny little, uh, like, it could have been, yeah, someone do the calcs if you want, I'm never going to bother. Okay, so Alakazam's coming out, I'm going to get out Sped and Psychic, obviously, uh, so I'm going to go to my Rapidash here. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't have much to go into. Didn't want to go into my Articuno either because I needed it uh, later on. So Rapidash is going to hit, get hit pretty hard uh, by the Alakazam. That's going to uh, do two hit KO me there with a the Psychic. Um, so I'm thinking that it's probably got you know, Life Orb. or it, it, it obviously wasn't Mega, so it, it would have Mega Evolved by now. So I'm saying their Charizard would have been X or Y. Okay, so I've got my um, uh, Scavalier here. Now I'm going to go thinking here, what should I do? Should I go for knockoff like right off the bat or should I just go for Iron Head? I decided to go for the Iron Head uh, there and the Iron Head hits Chestnut pretty hard but man this thing's bulky because I have max attack here. I whacked an Assault Vest on here uh, as well just for a little bit of extra bulk. Now Chestnut is obviously going to go for the Spiky Shield. I knew that. I thought well even if I got to take a little bit of damage it's going to, yeah it's it doesn't have any forms of recovery uh, outside of Synesis and Rest, so if it's going to use that, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see if it's got that or not. Um, yeah, Iron Head's not going to hit uh, anything 
um, that's going to want to come and swap in afterwards uh, lightly either. So uh, Chestnut misses with the hammer arm, which is nice. Not that it would have taken me out because uh, you know it's only neutral and. You know, Escavalier's got very nice uh, defenses and such. Okay, so Don Fang comes in. So the obvious Fire Fang here was obvious uh, before and before. Like, I wouldn't have quite guessed that at the start if it wasn't revealed on my um, Eridos. So into Mill Tank here. I've got Scrappy on this thing instead of uh, Thick Fat, but even so, it doesn't, like, hardly do anything to me at all. So I've got Body Slam on this. Obviously, it's main stab. Um, I'm just going to finish Don Fang off with that. I know, I know that it's probably not going to have any like forms of recovery and rest that'd be sort of weird on Don Fan so wasn't really expecting that uh, it's got the rocky helmet obviously so I'm doing quite a bit of damage to myself there uh, after the earthquake and, and such but th that's okay I I'm pretty happy with that um, I know there's an Alakazam left and there's actually a Jellicent left too um, at this point okay so I'm in a pretty strong position so I go for the body slam again and that is enough to take the Don Fan out uh, take some more rocky helmet damage here and uh, that's uh, Don Fan down which is good so uh, Mill Tank's only got a little bit of health left so it's quite in a range of uh, getting revenge kill which is fine because I've still got uh, I've still got my Earth Ring left and uh, a couple of others there. So uh, Alakazam's going to go for Psychic here. That's going to be enough to take me out. Even with max health, max defense, I'm down there for sure. Uh, that, that crit didn't matter there because it's Alakazam. It's huge and special attack. Okay, so I'm going to go into my Escavalier and I'm going to go for Knockoff here. Uh, interestingly, it goes for Shadow Ball there. I'm not sure why they went for Shadow Ball. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get a special defense drop. I just went for fucking Knockoff and they had a focus session. I'm like, damn, son. Uh, I wasn't expect I was expecting the life orb, um, but then they just uh, forfeited. Then uh, they pretty much couldn't do anything. The the other Pokemon they had left was the Jellicent, and that I mean that could have got past my Escavalier, but I still had knockoff and I had my Earthwing that was already poisoned with a Night Slash guts that would have absolutely destroyed it. And Articuno had Hidden Power Grass, so there was no way it was getting past all three of those Pokemon. So at the best, it would have probably been a two zero to me. So. I, I guess the them forfeiting there was, you know, it, it was inevitable really. But yeah, it was, it was a good game. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, had some fun using these Pokemon, uh, especially uh, Earth Ring that worked really nicely, and Ariados as well with those crits. That it was amazing. I had some really really funny uh, battles with this Pokemon. It, it's it's cool. It's very underrated. Um, just you can't, you don't want to swap into it not thinking you'll get critted because you will, and it it will hurt. Okay. Um, Anyway, uh, let me quickly go over my sets. That uh, was a special attacking Articuno, max special attack, max speed, uh, normal stabs, ice beam there, hidden power grass, uh, hurricane, and I think I gave it roost. Uh, sorry, agility. Uh, Rapidash was a special attacking Rapidash. I gave that fire blast, a sunny day, solar beam, and a hidden power, whatever. One there, choice ban, you've seen the Earth Ring already. And Miltang was just a uh, sort of normal Moodoo set. Uh, Eridos was that critting set with. Uh, you, know, you saw all of its moves there, pretty much. Uh, Sucker Punch, uh, X Scissor, and um, oh, sorry, Cross Poison. And Scavely was a bulky assault vest. That's about it. Enjoy the bloopers. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An enemy is godlike. An enemy is legendary. Shut down. Legendary. A summoner has disconnected.